Yeah. Monique, hello, girl. Yes, help is on the way. You better know this. Spotlight news. Bill Cosby feels that R. Kelly was railroaded by his recent conviction and hopes that R. Kelly wins an appeal of his verdict. Mr. What y'all think? What y'all think about Jello that? Puddin' Pop, he feels <laughs> that R. Kelly's conviction oh, wait. is systemic racism and an assault on, a, on successful black men. R. Kelly was, guilt, was convicted um, earlier this week guilty on charges related to sexual exploitation of a child, kidnapping, bribery, forced labor, sex trafficking across state lines, and racketeering. But Bill Cosby said, I don't like what y'all did to him, and I need him to get his conviction overturned. He, he said he got railroaded? He, got ra he said R. Kelly is being railroaded, railroaded. and it's, system, it's, it's systemic racism, racism and it's an assault on a successful black man. Okay, so let's just start right there. Let's, what you let's, think? let's be real. Like, I try to, you know, be real with my community. And so let's just be honest. Sometimes we just F up. Like, sometimes we just do wild stuff and it ain't got a damn thing to do with racism or systemic or nothing. Sometimes we just do foolish stuff or we need help. In this case, this young man needs help. He's a pedophile. This is real. Like, the pedophilia is real. Um, R. Kelly is a pedophile, and he can't help himself. Prison is not going to change his mind. Um, he was in tr on trial in one of them states somewhere. He was Chicago, wherever he was, he was on trial. Mm -hmm. And he met the 14-year-old while he was on trial for being a pedophile. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to show you that it's a sickness. And so I'm not saying he's not supposed to go to prison, but I'm not telling you that it's no damn racism and all of that. He really did have, he manipulated these little young girls. He used his clout. He used his fame. He used his money. Yep. He used his power. And he manipulated them and their dumbass parents that allowed, because my young kid ain't going no damn way. You, you can ain't play with me like that. R. Kelly going to get kidnapped. Like, there's no way that R. Kelly can have my kid. Nope. It's just not even real. Like, nope. you can't do no show nowhere. Where are we going? You nope. can't do, go nowhere. No, so can't. at the end of the day, my kid can't even mistakenly run away to your house. Nope. No, sir. Nope. And so it's something else going on. The, the parents are accountable for some of this actions because they also had a, a hand in it. Greed. See, they was going to benefit. If my daughter get rich, so will I. If my daughter become famous, so am I. If she can buy me a house and a Benz and she be friends with R. Kelly. And so sometimes it's exploitation and not racism. And so I just had to say that because we blame racism on everything. Now, I can't stand racism. I'm here for that part. Yeah. I stamped that with you, but that ain't it. R. Kelly was really snatching girls and, and manipulating them into having sex and doing crazy stuff. And he was peeing and carrying them. I saw the video. So I knew that was real. <laughs> you, you, R. Kelly. It wasn't your damn brother. No, he was peeing, acting wild. <laughs> and so that's too much, bro. Like, that's, that's sickness when you, you just go too far. You know? Yeah, I agree, though. Um, so... Y'all, we will... Uh, Love is music. I ain't never downplayed that. Yeah, one of the best that, away that ever did it in the world is R. Kelly. I, I won't take the talent away from him nope. and strip him of his talent, but he made some huge mistakes out here as be, far as that. And so and that's I what be, it's So we be, we be in the house really trying to be like anti-R. Kelly, but I'm telling y'all, that 12 play album... And that song, Swift, all of that yeah, song, I mean, like, he, it be he, hard. R. Kelly, one of the best. He's a <laughs> musical genius. Yes. And so that doesn't mean you don't have a sickness because you're smart in the area. Like, if yeah. you know how to do something real good, don't mean you're not wild somewhere else. That's true. It don't mean that. That's and so true. mental health, mental illness, all these things are really real. Uh, shout out to, uh, what's that, our sponsor? Umbrella. Umbrella. Mental, yeah. mental health. All right. Well, um, dozens of Massachusetts state police troopers have resigned in response to the governor's COVID-19 Vax mandate. <laughs> the police are already critically short staffed and they have acknowledged that this is going to take their troopers from specialty units that investigate homicides, terrorism, computer crimes, arsons, gangs, narcotics, and human, tra human trafficking. So the officers that are saying, well, F it, we quit. They're the ones that are most needed because they're the ones that are assigned to these areas. Listen, y'all, it's going to keep happening. So it's not just the officers. People are putting their military hands. Military people are walking away. Um, military people are being court-martialed and all kind of things are happening to them for speaking out against some yeah. cer certain things that the government is doing. Um, a lot of people are saying, no, 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 I'm going to stand on God and not government. A lot of people are saying, no, 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 I'm going to stand on God and not government. Not government. So what, the reason I'm saying this is, so, so let me ask you guys something. A lot of people, unfortunately, have passed away of cancer. All of them mostly had a chemo treatment. So does that mean the government should mandate chemo for all of us in case we get cancer? Does it mean that's what should happen to us? Because if that's what should happen, then okay, I can believe the other side. But this is how it looks. Like, 
just in case I'm a mandated and I'm going to fire your ass if you don't do it. Do you hear that? So we don't have freedom and liberties or nothing like that. You're just subject to that. So like I told you last week, you're going to either comply, be independent, or die. Comply, mm. be independent, or die. We're not in a time where we can play games anymore, party time over and all that. We really got to focus on what's going on out here because I promise you that there's some other things going on. You're going to see a food shortage in a minute like you've never seen in your life. But it's becoming a food so shortage. And I wish I could explain how it's happening. It's sickening to know what's going on to make the food shortage. But trust me, by December, by December, you'll see the shortage. They, they sprinkle it in the school system and mention it a little bit on Fox and there about the school system mm -hmm. having a food shortage just yesterday. Yep. But you're going to see it way go past all of that and come into the home. And the food going to go so high because of the scarcity. So grow what you can grow. Be self-sufficient. It's time for us to link up. We have no more time to play games with each other. We need each other more than we ever have in our whole life. And if you don't believe what I'm telling you, all you got to wait is a little bit. Keep waking up. And you're going to see the time going to be the prover of what I'm telling you. If we don't link up right now. Yep. So God is forcing our hand to become independent. Yep. Because we still want to hold on. We don't want a God. We want a government. And so he's forcing us to be independent. And we still trying to hold on when he say come out of her. So all I'm sitting there telling you is we got to change our mindset. The killing ain't going to stop without a spirituality problem. It's not a physical problem. We're fighting a spiritual solution. I mean a spiritual problem with a physical solution. Yep. We're trying to use our physical wit. You can name all the presidents you want that haven't changed our condition one time. So all I'm doing is why we keep betting on government and keep on thinking that these people here to uh, save us from all of this when we can save ourselves. All we got to do is link. Yep. That's all we have to ever had to do was link. Because we the thought provokers. We the leaders of the new. We the ones that set trend. We the ones that all the sponsors are promoting to. Why? Because we spend the most cash. That means we have it. So come on, let's link a little bit and get together before it's too late. We headed down that road now. I'm telling y'all where it's going. They squeezing us now. Yep. Where they sque squeezing y'all because I don't give a damn. I'm, and, I'm well equipped. And I'm, I'm with my husband. Like, they squeeze and Get talk, ready. Not, this, not this, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than just because you're getting a salary right now. It's big, bigger than just because you took the shot and you still got your job. It's way bigger than that. It's, it's, we all linked. Yep. It's way bigger than that. It's yep. way bigger than that. There's some other things behind this whole situation that you're going to come to. All you got to do is keep waking up. And I, and I can promise you that I'm telling you facts. So I just want us to wake up a little bit. This is not just a goofy platform for us to hee-hee and ha-ha all damn day. Sometimes you have to give out some real potent information to That's your right. community so that they can understand. So think a little bit before you just jump. Don't let fear guide you. I said we need a God, not a government. God, not government. I'm with uh, that. All right. Um, Rick Ross has been ordered to pay $11,000 per month to his baby mama for their three children. Is this too much or not enough? What y'all think? Man, that's light. 11 grand a month. That's kind of hey, light, right? That's light when you're so three a multi-multi-mean and you have three babies. That's light. Yeah, so I hope he ain't yeah. complaining on me. I'm not saying it's light because of the money. It's light when you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. You can give up 11000 to your three right. kids. Because you want them to live as just at least as good as you looking. Yeah, you know? the... Um, you wearing Dior. They should have something real nice. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Like that. 11K a month. She, she yeah. need to get that for Come on, fat boy. Kill it. Stop so, it, man. And he don't have a choice. He, he, he just, he got to do it. The Kardashians, y'all thought they was done because y'all, when y'all heard it's the, the season finale and all this stuff, y'all really thought that they were going to be done with TV. They want y'all to see them on TV as much as possible. They got, they back again? They are back. They're moving to the streaming platform after 14 years and 20 seasons of filming, keeping up with the Kardashians for network traditional tv they have now a multi-year deal with hulu to produce their new content and it'll be seen all over the world and their debut is set for later this year they started filming earlier this week at a restaurant in la so y'all be that's an easy bet though yeah. if i'm hulu i'm betting with them i mean I it's can. an easy bet like how you gonna yeah. lose but just let me an let answer me this what the black boy do like who, who is he the boy married to uh dating chris What's his job? Cord. What does he do? He just he be her man. He just the door man and the no, car driver boy. No, he's He go get the car. What he do? He he her man. He her boo. He probably you know he hump her when he say. I say what does he do? Hump, he hump. He don't have no type. He of humps. Hump. No. He, he just hump her for a living. He just humps. Yes. That's his job. Yes. He, he a professional humper. Look good and hump her. Okay. Yes. He a professional humper. She's like okay. sixty something and he's younger and he look and he, and, and he's one of us. So she's like. 
just hump on me when I want you to go out on dates with me. Well, one thing I be, noticed, they always got them. Be some black my arm, be they my keep arm. A black one they keep, they love that black. The only one ain't le leaned all the way over there yet is the one with the tattoo boy, my drummer homie. What's the boy? Uh, the drummer boy, uh, Travis, she, she uh, Travis, Travis Barker. Barker. Courtney, well, and he kind of black. Kind of, sort of. Travis not oh, yeah, really a white them boy. Girl, all of them, even the Puerto mom, Rican they love black penis. And, and Rob so, love black box. <laughs> well, he did, and then China screwed the boy. China <laughs> messed Rob up. See, some people, just like Erica Badu messed up, uh, what's the boy, Andre 3000? She messes up everybody. It's something she happened. Something happened. Whatever it's something she got. Happened with Girl, call me. What you got? Because Erica Badu do mess them all Well, up. she put it in the candle or something. She got some incense, some poom poom candles or something, where you smell the poom poom and... I was scared to get them, I know. but I but I heard they work. This word on the street. I'm gonna give me some. Huh? Um, listen, let's keep All it right. going. <laughs> Congratulations to Jeannie Mae and Jeezy who are expecting their first child together. I love these two together. You know what? Jinx, see, that's what happened. When you get with I black people, it. you change your mind about a lot of stuff. She told She's, the public a year ago, never I ain't kids. never gonna have no kids and blah blah blah. And then here comes Slim. She got that black. Next thing you know, boy, had babies. Boy, you don't put the uh, what it was. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Jeannie Mae, I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> All of a sudden, bam. I want to get pregnant too. I just, Wait, we you talking just about won't G. let me. Yeah, we saying Jeannie. I want to too. Go okay. ahead. What's the, what's the next story? What's the next? Go <laughs> hey, back. I'm like, I'm just telling you that I can relate. Um, uh, Gabrielle Union, she's a little weird sometimes. She really, I she used admits, to like Gab. And then some, I still love her, but she's just a little weird. She's she a said, whole um, weirdo now. This week, she told Jimmy Kimmel that She's a connoisseur of strip clubs. She frequents them about 10 to 15 times a year, and she drops 10,000 to 20,000 each visit. Wow, Gabby, you love them like that? You love the tot shaking on you for 10 grand and one Shout out night? to Gab. Shout out to Gabby. Yeah. <laughs> I you like was, that, right? I thought she was goofy. I changed my mind about everything I just said you about like you. You like that, right, babe? You was goofy yesterday, not today. When I heard that story, no, I take everything else back. I was just saying that because you still letting your son have painted fingernails at five years old. I, didn't, I, I was confused. Like, let them express themselves. They kids. How they going to express themselves when they don't know better? Listen. It's man. a train up a child, dumb, dumb. Don't right let the now. child train you. He yeah. five. Well. I'm like Boosie. This dumb. He not he, five. The, 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 the child is uh He's a little. Teenager. Like 12, 13 no. now. Oh, I'm, I got the wrong one. I'm just thinking about Alicia Keyboard. Yeah, you thinking about another Okay. So that, I don't even want to talk about that one. That's another one. Let's keep going. Tell us some sports, baby. Oh, yeah. I got Please. that for y'all. Sports. What you got? I got it. What you got? <sighs> You That's get, not sports. I know. What it what it, what, it, <laughs> what? My wife look, gave me. <laughs> no, look. So when they right former former NBA what look. approximately ninety percent of the NBA players are allegedly vaccinated, um, including LeBron James, but there are some very, very vocal players like my main man, the one my favorite player now, Kyrie Irving of the Nets, and Andrew Wiggins of the Warriors, who refuse to get vaccinated. They say, Hell no, we won't go. Andrew Wiggins filed for a religious exemption, but has not yet been approved for it. Know why? Because they this is devilish, and they don't have time for what God's talking about. So they're ignoring everything what God said, and they want you to stand on it. Yep. Stand on it. Um, uh, Kyrie hasn't stated his reason, but he is not vaccinated either. They will not be allowed to play in home games for their teams. That's dumb. They can play away, but can't. So it's going to go with them if they go to the... Because other states, they don't oh. they, they can't mandate something if you're visiting... They will not be allowed to play at home games for their teams, which means they are forfeiting a lot of money. Good for y'all. Both Kyrie Wig and Wiggins stand to lose about $8.9 million each if they miss all of their scheduled home games. And they're ready to play it out. I read today that they're And they're going to play it out. And um, I, wish more I salute you. That. I salute you for that. What I will say is this. I don't have any issues with somebody who gets vaccinated. What I do have an issue with is people who vaccinated have an issue with somebody who does not get vaccinated. Yeah, it's a choice with, right. that somebody should make for their body when you're putting foreign substance in it. It shouldn't be something that should be mandated or forced on somebody, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't think that somebody should be able to make you do anything. As a human grown person, you have the right to do that uh, on your own or not. Nah. Because they got I herbs agree. out here and all these things that can build your immune up that they won't say about and all those things that you can take that you won't have to worry about having that. And what about the people who already had the whoop whoop in their arm? And um, I mean, the people who already had it, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the virus, right? They still being forced. Mm -hmm. 
And so I think that's foolish too. Former know. NBA All-Star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar said that any player who refuses to get vaccinated should be kicked out of the NBA and not allowed to play anymore, Uncle Tom. Kareem, I don't well, like Well, you that. sound like an Uncle Tom hillbilly. Yep. I don't um, like Kareem. that Kareem. And I'm a, I'm a cold-blooded Laker fan. But you can't tell people they should lose their livelihood because you want to be the experimental person. So if that's your choice, that's your choice. Doesn't mean you should force it on nobody or tell nobody they should be kicked out the league and all this buffoonery. Right. Yeah, you shouldn't make like that it. call, brother. Yeah, you goofy for that. I don't like that either. You getting old. Tom Brady will return to New England for the first time since he left uh, uh, to play uh, to play uh, in a Tampa Bay uniform. Wow. And so this, this, is, this big. is big. Everybody's been talking about it. Big. And whoop de -whoop. what y'all think now? I think, of course, Tom Brady and I'm going to smash They're going to go in I, I used to, I used to kind of wasn't feeling Tom Brady because I think that they play him soft. You can't touch him and all this other stuff. But I will say he is the GOAT, though. He has more rings than anybody. He has accomplished more than most quarterbacks that I know. And he keeps showing up as an old person doing his thing. Yeah. And so I have to say salute to him. But, uh, yeah, I don't know that um, New England has a chance. And so do y'all say that it's Tom Brady's offense or was it the coach that made them who they are? I think it was a, a lot of people saying of that it was well, okay. But mainly Tom Brady. I mean, Bill Belichick, I feel like, is a genius in the sports world. But um, Tom Brady is what really helps build – Belichick's uh, geniusness really flourish all those years. Yeah, I believe Without that. Without Tom Brady, you see, he's just like regular.